So it's been a couple of months since I've had a wet dream last, and this is what I've done to stop having them. Step one, before you go to bed, read Ephesians 6.10 in the Bible, which talks about the armor of God. Step two, stop stressing about it, stop thinking about it, don't obsess about it, and just go to bed with a clear mind. Step three, rebuke anything evil, anything unclean, anything demonic that's in your room or house in the name of Jesus. Step four, this is a big one. Wear clothes when you go to bed. Back when I just wore underwear to bed, I would have wet dreams a lot. Put on socks, put on shorts or pants, have underwear on, and put a shirt on as well. This was game-changing, man. This helped me so much. Step five, when you go to bed, be mindful of how you sleep. So if you sleep on your stomach, that pushes up against you, which could cause stimulation. I sleep on my back and on my side now. And you'll get used to the clothes in bed. You'll get close to sleeping on your back, on your side. You'll get used to that. Because I used to sleep on my stomach all the time. Like That was how I slept. But now I sleep on my back and on my side. And this is something too, man. If you wake up and have some wet in your pants, that's not a wet dream. Like last night, man, I woke up and I had a little bit of wet in my pants. That's just the body being intelligent in eliminating the excess waste it doesn't need. But a wet dream, man, we, we all know what that is. We remember it. While we're asleep, we can feel the sensation in our body. We can feel that, that ejaculation. We can feel the, the orgasm. Like, we can feel that. It feels real. We can remember what she looked like. We can remember doing it. It's so vivid. That's a wet dream. That's a demonic attack. But if you just wake up the next day, oh, wow, my pants, oh, what the heck? It's normal. It's the body being intelligent. And understand this too. The wet dreams, they make you feel drained. You wake up from that, oh, I don't even feel like getting out of bed. I don't even feel like taking a shower. I don't even feel like going to work. I don't even feel like doing anything. You feel exhausted. But when this little, like, you have a little bit of wet in your pants, you wake up, change them, um, get on with the day. You don't feel like you've lost any energy. See, the body's so intelligent, man. God made this body so intelligently that it's going to hold on to what it needs. It's not going to let out energy and vital proteins and minerals. It's, it's just going to be like, okay, this is all excess stuff. I got to get rid of it somehow. Okay, cool. Let it out. But these, these succubus demons, these incubus demons in the spiritual realm, bro, they want to drain you. Like... You feel your whole body locking up. You feel the feeling so well, even though you're asleep, you remember it. And it, it's just that whole day you're thinking about how good it was and that, that good feeling. And then you think about, oh, maybe I should get back into, into fapping because it feels so good. No, bro. That's the devil trying to get you back into it. And resist the devil and he will flee from you. The Bible says that too. That's why it's been a couple of months since I've had one because I've taken protective action and I've resisted the devil. That's what I've done. And if you have if you have wet dreams, man, how to recover from that? Just eat a lot of good quality foods, man. So eggs, eggs have vitamin D. Eggs are really healthy. Eat some eggs. You know, eat like food that's nutritional. Take some multivitamins if you have to. Whatever it is, man, but do it. Because back when I was having these wet dreams, I'd wake up the next day and just feel so tired. I didn't feel like doing anything. But now I just wake up. Get on with my day. Once in a while, maybe once a week, once every 10 days, once every two weeks, I wake up, got a little wet in my pan, no big deal. Because it's not energy, it's not protein, it's not minerals. It's just waste. It's the body saying, eh. just like when we eat food. When we eat food, the body takes the proteins and the, the vitamins and all that from the food, holds on to it, and then the waste, you know what happens with that. It's the same way, man. Don't stress about it. And this is something too. If you're watching TV shows, movies, playing video, whatever it is that has women in like bikinis or like sex scenes, whatever that is, <clears throat> the mind may be thinking about that when you go to bed. And that may also cause you to have a wet dream as well. So don't follow any models. Don't watch like TV shows with, with beautiful women in like seductive clothing. Don't do that because that will stimulate you too. And then the body will have all this buildup and all this pressure. It has to let it go. But yet you're not stimulating the body. So the body will then do it at night. And then you'll just let all that pressure out. And in that let out is going to be energy as well. Proteins, minerals, vitamins. Because you stimulate the body. You built up all this pressure and had to let it out. 
So just live life. Don't fall into temptation. Control what you can control. And have fun with things, man. Stop stressing about it. <clears throat> if you have a wet dream, okay, so what? Because the good thing is you're not doing it daily. You're not doing it several times a day. So even if you lost a little bit of energy in a wet dream, you'll build it back up. Through what you eat, through healthy habits, through life, through time, you'll build it back up. It's much better, okay, I had a wet dream. It's been 10 days since I've last had one. Okay, you've let out a nut one time in 10 days. Before that, when you did it a couple times a day, in 10 days, you probably let out 25. So be thankful that you're making progress. Okay, one nut in 10 days. It's a wet dream, so what? Opposed to you stimulating yourself 25 times. Think of how much energy you've lost 25 times compared to one time. It's no big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not a relapse because you didn't stimulate yourself. It's spiritual or something happened. But you did not do that. You did not make the decision to <clears throat> go on a device or just yank one off. You didn't make that decision. So stop stressing about it and just live, live life. And I'm going to tell you what. Eventually, they'll stop happening. Now, maybe once in a while, they'll happen because you may open up a doorway, a spiritual doorway through sin, through action, or God may be testing you. God may be allowing the devil to do that, to see what you're made out of, to see if you stay on NoFap. Like, there's so many variables, but just know that you have to stay on NoFap. Stay on it. Don't go off it. It's no big deal. Don't stress. Enjoy it. Live life. Have fun. Okay? It's, it's, all, it's all a gift, man. That's the thing with this life. It's all a gift. One of these days, we'll be gone. <laughs> we'll be in heaven or hell. Now, that's up to you. You have a decision to make on that. But one of these days, we'll be gone, man. And so what if you, if you release? So what if you have a wet dream once in a while? I haven't had one in a couple months. And it's felt good. It's been good, man. My energy's up. I'm feeling well. And back when I just got into retention, I had quite a bit. Now, I've been on retention almost six months. But the first couple of months was when I got attacked the most. Because I was so new to this. The devil saw that. And he wanted to get me to fall back into my sin. To get back into my old ways. But I resisted him. He fled. And now, now I'm good. Now he's left me alone. Who's to say he's not going to tempt me a month from now, a week from now, a day from now? I don't know. But what I do know is that I've had some peace for a good, amu a good amount of time. And it's been good. So, yeah, man, I've been in that boat before. It's been okay. It's been just fun. But it's an experience. Just count it all fun. Count it all joy. It's a gift from God. This life is a gift. Just be happy with it, man. Like, comment what you want to see next. I'll see you next time.